Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Q2's Athlete of the Week isn't exactly a green giant, but she's certainly playing like one for the Columbus Cougars. Casey Conlon shows us why and how. This is six foot five Forsyth Center Lindsey Hine, Class B's most dominant player. No one has been able to stop her all year. So when Columbus drew the Dogies in Saturday night's Southern Bee Championship, head coach Jeremy Burke had to figure out what to do. So naturally, he called on five foot two point guard Alexa Reveland. People almost think it's a it's a gimmick, but it's not. It's just I've never, and I said that at the beginning of the year, it's, I've never seen somebody that can play as hard as she does for as long as she does. Burke told Reveland to front Hine all night, trying to make Forsyth star as uncomfortable as possible. And it worked. Lexo took it to her. And she, I don't think she knew what to do. I understand that she's tiny when it's compared to her, but her heart makes her play 6'5", and we know that, and it's just something that for 32 minutes, having that girl hound you is just a, it's a nightmare. The tallest girl on the court, so that was their main threat, I think, for the most part, is shutting her down, not letting her get the ball, and making other people shoot. And I think we did a pretty good job at that. Hine shot just three for 13, and Columbus held the Dogies to 34 total points. The Columbus Cougars. In a 42-34 win to claim the divisional title. Quite a turnaround for a team who hadn't even made it to this tournament in four years. They got a pretty big monkey off their back in districts. Truthfully, I believed in them more than they believed in themselves. And then that, that switch finally slipped. Is I'm not, I'm not crazy. You guys can do this. The three seniors on the team really took it upon ourselves to make sure that we were going to go as far as we could and make sure those younger girls could see that. And I want to give them experience, and I wanted to be a part of it. So I think, I don't know what the switch was, but there was. You could argue the switch was Reveland, who has been working toward this day for three seasons. We had some tough conversations with her her sophomore year. She told us what her goals were, and, and we just said, well, then you got to work harder. If you, if you really want to be that, if you want to lead this team, then, then you got to work harder, and she did. Being that small, like, girls underestimate her, and she, you know, she comes out and shows them up, and I'm proud of her. She worked really hard, and, I mean, we couldn't have done it without her. I mean, she's just the heart of our team, and just in his show tonight. Big things really do come in small packages. Casey Conlon, MTN Sports.